Once upon a time, in the heavenly abode of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati, there lived their beloved son, young Lord Ganesha, known as Bal Ganesh. He was cherished by all for his wisdom and playful nature. One day, a grand feast was organized, and all the gods and goddesses were invited to celebrate. To express their love, they prepared Lord Ganesha's most favorite dishes, filled with delicious sweets and treats. Lord Ganesha was overjoyed and enjoyed the feast with all his heart. He ate and ate until his belly became big and round, causing him to feel embarrassed. As night descended, Lord Ganesha decided to quietly leave the feast. However, he heard a mysterious laughter behind him. He looked around, but there was no one there except for the radiant moon in the sky, laughing at him. This mockery made Lord Ganesha feel even more embarrassed and upset. In his frustration, he decided to teach the moon a lesson. Lord Ganesha used his divine powers and declared a curse on the moon. He said that it would be invisible for one day every month and no one would worship it. The moon pleaded for forgiveness, but Lord Ganesha couldn't take back the curse. However, he later felt remorse for being so harsh. Lord Ganesha decided to lessen the curse. He declared that the moon would grow thinner each day and be invisible on Amavasya, an inauspicious day in Hindu tradition. The moon was grateful for this mercy, and it continued to shine in the night sky, albeit with its changing phases. The moral of this story is that we should never make fun of others, just like the moon did to Lord Ganesha. Laughing at someone's weakness can lead to trouble. Lord Ganesha's story also teaches us to be kind and forgiving, even when we're hurt. And that's why, during Ganesh Chaturthi, we are advised not to look at the moon, to remember this important lesson of kindness and forgiveness. The story of Lord Ganesha and the moon reminds us that even the mightiest beings can learn valuable lessons about compassion and understanding. Kaya, surya ko 